All right, you guys, I am getting carbs today. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal or pre-workout snack, whatever you would like to call it, but I'm gonna show you that in this video. I am about to hook up something super delicious, so I need you guys to make sure you lock in, subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and let's get started with this pre-workout snack. All right, so first and foremost, I need two main ingredients, which are gonna be the cream of rice. And then I also need my ghost protein powder, which is Cinnabon flavor. Mind blowing, super delicious, and it is vegan protein. So this is for my individuals out there who are struggling with digesting whey protein, which is perfectly fine. Now, if you do wanna consume whey protein and you just can't get enough of it, maybe try consuming a digestive enzyme beforehand. But for the most part, just move over to some vegan protein so the protein that's in here is the pea protein they also have watermelon seed protein never heard of that one but they have it in here and they also have organic pumpkin protein not sure but it's in here so this is the first two ingredients that i grab then of course i grab the scale i have to weigh everything i eat because it is important then i grab a bowl so once we have our bowl now we can pour how much creamer rice we want now i need to make sure i'm eating the right amount of food therefore i will go to my fitness pal and i'll figure out what it is I need to be eating. I didn't realize I tracked the wrong food item. It's not cream of wheat, it's actually cream of rice. So let me change that right now. So I'm gonna do one complete serving of cream of rice, which is gonna be 45 grams, one fourth cup. Now for one serving, they want you to do one cup of water. So for the purposes of keeping it legit, we'll go ahead and do exactly what they want. We'll do one cup of water. When you stir it up, stir it up with a fork. It's just better that way. It's like using one of those whisk utensils. Just like that. We're gonna put it in the microwave for one minute. We'll wait for that. So I just pulled it out of the microwave, stirred it up some more, get a nice consistency, and then I put it back in the microwave. So we're gonna wait for that. Okay, this is what we want and it's hot. All right, so here we have it. We have our cream of rice right here, ready to go. 45 grams, nice fluffy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the protein powder and I'm gonna do one and a half servings of protein powder. Thirty-two. Then once we do that, then we're simply gonna stir it up without making a mess. So stir it up nice and soft, nice, slow, controlled. I was getting out of hand, my apologies. And then now we notice that we need more water. So we grab some more water. Good amount of water, as you notice the consistency of it. Now, you know exactly what I'm making from the title of the thumbnail, but just from here, you wouldn't even realize I was making some ice cream. And this is my version of ice cream. This is what I call ice cream. When you're on prep, you just call things random names. This right here, this cream of rice protein mix, ice cream because there's a step that I'm about to perform next. Make sure we got all of the cream of rice and the protein stirred up nice, whisk, just like that. So this is what you're left with, nice bowl of cream of rice and protein powder. Then what we're gonna do is put it in the freezer. So I'm sitting that in the freezer for whatever time you want to, but I'm about to go do a few chores and then I'm gonna come back. So I'll probably be gone for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put this in there for 30 minutes and then we'll come back, check on it and see what it looks like. All right, y'all, it has been about 35 minutes. So I'm gonna come grab our ice cream. This is what it looks like right now. Let me show you the consistency. So you see, it's nice. It's not frozen, but it does have a lot of chill to it. Nice, fluffy. So now what we're gonna do is hook up with a few more ingredients. We have bananas, we have blueberries, we have peanut butter, and we have cinnamon. So let's grab what we need. All right, you guys, for the blueberries, we're doing frozen blueberries. All we need is half of a cup, which is 70 grams. So we're gonna do that first. We want 70 exact, so we have 70, 71, that's okay. Then we're gonna grab a banana. So the banana is not frozen, but that is okay. I'm gonna peel the banana first. Comment down below, do you peel yours from this end or do you peel it from that end? I used to peel it from this end a lot and I was told, you are doing it completely wrong, what are you doing? So I wanna do things right, so therefore I peel it this way. So we have our banana, we're gonna weigh it out and we're just gonna cut it into slices like this. Real simple, cut into slices, we want a whole banana. So we're gonna cut the whole thing. I'd estimate about 100 grams. 
perfect. We have 101 grams and then we have 71 grams of blueberries. So we're not finished yet. Now we need cinnamon and we need peanut butter. Nothing fancy about the cinnamon. That's it right there. A couple sprinkles of that, nothing too crazy. Then we need peanut butter. So this is the peanut butter I'm using. Don't fry me in the comments for not using natural peanut butter. It is what it is. But we wanna be precise with our peanut butter. Therefore, we're gonna weigh it out. And we only want 16 grams. So one tablespoon. Grab a spoon or a knife and in this matter. Grab a knife. And the reason why I grab a knife, I'm gonna show you. Get 16, so we have 16. So what I'm gonna do, is put it in this bowl here and I'm going to use a knife so easy I can just do it just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to melt the peanut butter. All right you guys so the peanut butter is melted and it is ready to be drizzled. We're going to drizzle 16 grams of peanut butter just like that. We want all of our peanut butter so we'll get some more out like that. And there we have it. We have a delicious bowl of pre-workout ice cream. All right, you guys, so now we have our delicious concoction right here. I haven't been eating this for a long time. I actually just started about a few days ago because I can just do this without the cream of rice and cut back on the fruit just a little bit and it'll still be low carb. So the macros for this are on the screen. So we are looking at 539 calories. We have nine grams of fat, 82 grams of carbs, and 37 grams of protein. So like I said, if you wanted to cut back on carbs, you can remove the cream of rice. You can remove some of the fruit because you don't need that much fruit. But I would keep the protein. Actually, I would hike the protein up just a little bit more just to give you maybe 40 to 50 grams. But this right here is going to be a legit quick little snack. You can call it a meal. I don't know what body type you have, but this right here is a snack for me. But because I'm on prep, I guess I can call it a meal because anything that's going to... And I'm not going to say that. Never mind. All right. So that's what we have. I'm going to do a taste test for you guys. I already know. We have the cinnamon bun. We have some peanut butter, blueberries, and bananas. This is what we're looking like. Looking too crazy. Bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. If you do prep right, if you do it right, things will start to taste good. Mmm. That cinnamon bun taste is crazy. Ghost is on to something. I'm not sponsored, but Ghost is on to something with that cinnamon bun. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so I might as well take you guys to the gym with me. Me and the queen are headed to the gym in maybe an hour or so, and we're going to train, I think, a push day. So I'm going to chop back in here with you guys when it's pre-workout time. All right, y'all, it is time to get the pre-workout going. I got that super savage today. Real talk. I got the super savage. All right, so this right here is that C bump pre workout. This right here is actually pretty legit. Wild cherry, decent flavor, but inside of this pre workout, it is stat. I mean, they loaded up some ingredients inside of here, and it's super legit, man, for pumps, for energy, for everything. I'll go ahead and read you off some of the ingredients in a minute. Let me get my special glass. Y'all know about this glass for my little sis. Gotta get that water. This is two gallons almost gone for the day. Grab that agua, just like that. Nothing crazy, nothing too fancy. Now, they want us to do one scoop. So I actually have been taking this pre-workout for three days now. Yesterday was a rest day. One, two, probably two days before that I was taking this pre-workout, so super legit. So the, what it has in it, uh, let me give you just a few ingredients that you might like. Pink Himalayan, y'all know I'm all about the pink Himalayan salt. So it has 500 milligrams, so that's gonna be super legit. We're talking about sodium, we're talking about vascularity in the gym. Let me see, L-theanine, oh yes, 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 yes. 200 milligrams of that. That right there is more like a stress relief. Help you stay calm, help you bring it down. I actually take theanine every day. Uh, yeah, right there, boom. So it has some of that in there. It has some caffeine, of course. Guess how many grams, milligrams of caffeine it has? 400, so this is my first time having a 400 milligram pre-workout. Sheesh. And then creatine, five grams of creatine. So this right here, if you purchase this, you don't have to purchase pretty much any other supplement. It's crazy because I'm talking about them as if I'm sponsored or anything. No, I'm not sponsored by Raw by any means, but I love giving you guys exactly what I'm using throughout my journey and maybe you'll try for yourself. So I'm just gonna do one scoop. It didn't say heaping scoop, so we don't need to go crazy. We'll just do one scoop. Just like that. Now y'all know I got my lovely frother from the wife. It's actually hers. Didn't get it from her. Drop it in here like that. Turn it on. Stirs up. 
So something I like to do when I train in the evening is take my pre-workout before I go to the gym. So then it has time to kick in, it has time to move around. Then when I'm warming up, it probably will kick in then. What I was experiencing early on, maybe like a couple weeks ago, was the fact that when I take my pre-workout in the gym at the beginning of my workout, the pre-workout actually doesn't really kick in to my body until like halfway, even a little later during the workout. And the workout's almost done and now my energy is out the roof. Tingling on the lips. This right here is tingling on the lips. Let me see. I normally take it out of the bottle, so I wonder what that is. I was talking to a guy today about a glycerol. I told him, yeah, my glycerol is all inside of my pre-workout, so I don't have to worry about that. Citrulline, six grams. Yeah, this right here is legit. They have different flavors, but this right here is the wild cherry. But yeah, me and the wife, we about to head out right now. We got a push day, shoulders, chest, triceps. Eight days out, let's get it. All right, y'all, we in the lab. Back in the lab, got the queen over there. Incline, that's how we starting. Not sure how I want to play it today, but I do want to play it safe. So I'm not gonna go too crazy on the dumbbells, but I will probably take it to like 100. How you feeling? Where you get that work? Y'all, we're going to DR in nine days. Nine days, so the show's in, oh wait, 10 days. Show's in eight days, and then we jump on a plane, we're going to DR. Hello. Let me go get this work. Alright y'all, done hiding, eight days, oh yeah, Shreds, they coming in boo or, they, or was they here already, how we looking, am I looking better than the last time, what was last time, last time was still good, look girl last time was 2019, yeah, I hope I look better, it's bigger, huh, I look better, yeah, I been eating, eating my Wheaties, Chicken. you said what, I'm snacking, I'm snacking, all right, let's work. Hmm. Oh, not these dumbbells. Oh. <laughs> Dad, I need that. <laughs> you should have got some of that super savage pre workout I got. No. My ears are off the chains right now. Oh, why? <laughs> Ooh. Come on, I'm going first place. Come on. Come on. Oh, we want it all. Coming forward. I got lightheaded too. Yeah, but what? I got lightheaded too. All right, so we got a super set right here. So we're going to go shoulder press. Then we're going to jump right there. Into, into, <laughs> go jump right there and get some lateral raises. All right, let's get it. Uh, 
I'm not even gonna hold y'all. If y'all would've caught me last week, couple days ago, I was almost in tears. I was scared. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I didn't think I had enough. I didn't think the shreds was there. I didn't think the muscle was there. And the next thing you know, the diet kicked in, the low carbs kicked in. I started feeling like crap. Uh, next thing you know, I'm almost there. Bicep, back of the arm. How right, you up, Slime? What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> oh. Mom, I can like that. Yeah. Just bend down. Or like put a little bend in your knees. And lean forward. Yeah. Bring them down. Here. And stay right there. And open them up. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. How many do? <laughs> Not for how many do? Huh? I want them in my business. But I want them to know my business. Start with super setting this like this. We do a single arm chest lock so we can get a more better squeeze right there. Come check this out. Check this out. See that squeeze? Come right here. See that? See that T squeeze? Mm. Yeah, that's what you want. So we're going past like All right, so I think this is gonna be my last exercise. I'm gonna do some upright rows. Now with these rows, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna target the lateral head just a little bit more. So when you grab the bar like such, when I pull, I'm gonna be pulling with my elbows. So I'm gonna to try to drag up like this. And you'll notice how the lateral head is working. So we're gonna work that lateral head just a little bit more. Move, move a little closer. Keeping the bar in front. Whew. 
Yeah, guys, like I was saying, I was a little afraid. I was in my head. Emotions just start going. Mentally, it's a lot to handle when you're in these preps, especially when you're going through it by yourself. You're coaching yourself through it. You're constantly looking at yourself in the mirror. You're getting your head way too much, man. So moving forward, I got my guy looking after me for this peak. So for this peak week, this last week of the prep, he's watching over it, making sure I'm legit with my numbers and everything like that. And I really do appreciate that. And so moving forward, when we shoot for that pro card, when I get back from the DR, we'll have about 10 weeks. So 10 weeks before the USA's, I'm gonna need a coach. If I wanna do life and do fitness and bodybuilding, I need a coach. It is what it is. Just like I preach to you guys, go get help. I need help, so I'm gonna get that. But this has been a good prep, man. Eight days, man. We got eight days out. Feeling good now. I, I won't even lie to y'all. I'm feeling good. Just feeling a lot more confident, man. Feeling too good. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I need you guys to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, subscribe right now, guys. Road to Pro is gonna start in about two weeks. Road to Pro is gonna start. New series on the way. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all for rocking me in this video. Again, subscribe if you have not already. New videos on the way. I'm gonna record the whole peak week, so I'm gonna show you guys every single day from here on out. Today is eight days out. I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow.